it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today we have ambiance. We've got rain behind me. So let's welcome in the energy element of water, which can be very calming, very soothing. So you will hear that most likely on the audio, but utilize it as a healing flow channel. Okay. <laughs> I talk about elements like like the rain at um, my Fairy Grasshopper channel. So if you're interested in all the different tools and the connection stuff that I do over there, check out Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. It's more of a vlogging, more casual channel. Okay. All right, so if I haven't met you before, hey, nice to meet you. I'm glad that you're here and you found your way here today. We're gonna have a conversation, and which is what I do every week. I do a video every week and channel someone from the afterlife. Sometimes it's someone we know, we're familiar with, we've talked to before that has a playlist. There is a playlist tab. So before you say, hey, channel so-and-so, take a look at the playlist because they have a pretty good chance in the last two years of this channel that I probably maybe channeled that person at least once. So check out the playlist. Keep me entertained for hours, hours. And I focus on afterlife celebrity guests because they inspire our spirit. They used to be people, so they know what it's like to do the daily grind. They also are very gifted and have lived their life on purpose in some way and have this incredible insight from the afterlife. And they also have what we really need, and that is your attention, to pay attention to the messages that they share, the lessons that they have for us. Today, we're going to talk to Luis Hay. Louise Hay is one of our favorites here on Above Life Channel. She is a spiritual teacher. She is a personal development guru, and she is the founder of Hay House Publishing. So her name may sound familiar to you, and that's because she's with Hay House Publishing. She started that out way back in the day before it was cool to be new agey or spiritual or even personal development was cool. I mean, she, way back in the day. So she has a wide variety of books and, and card decks and all sorts of different authors on a variety of topics from health and nutrition and wellness to abundance and law of attraction to angels and totem animals and the universe and the moon cycles and the cosmos and star seed energy and just so much variety, something for everybody there. I kind of sound like a commercial, don't I? I don't mean to. <laughs> There's also Hay House Radio you can stream for free, so check that out. There's also an app for Hay House Radio. The app might have, man, they might cost something, but I'm not sure. Again, this is not a sponsored video, <laughs> but Hay House, if you want me to, if you want to sponsor me, I'm open to that, okay? <laughs> Let's just be clear here, okay? Okay. So the reason why I want to talk with Louise Hay today is because it has been a day, it has been a week, it has been a couple weeks, it's been a very long stretch of time that I have found it very difficult to channel, to want to motivate myself to channel, to talk to people that are celebrities in the afterlife and record it and perform for you. By perform, I mean make sure that I'm present, make sure that I'm doing the best channel I possibly can and giving to somebody that I haven't talked to before and really doing hard work and doing a good job. That's what I mean. And I really felt pressure against wanting to do that. I just haven't felt motivated. So I want to talk to Elise about that and find out why. I mean, current events, hello, there's a lot going on in the world in the last month. The last three months there's multiple things we've got layers upon layers upon layers of current event stuff health stuff social justice stuff belief values all sorts of stuff we got an election in the united states coming up in a couple months we got a lot of stuff everything's just like turn it over turn it over baby we're turning the soil turning the soil and so could be that it could just be I've been doing this for two years and I need something different or a variety or I want more I want more. I want to be able to share in ways that are even more profound and, and really inspiring to people besides just a video every week, you know? It could be a lot of things. So, Louise, can you, um, you are a, uh, sh uh, someone that I connect to as a mentor, and I love you and appreciate you. You're such a trailblazer. <laughs> such a feminist. Totally appreciate that. Yes, I did walk today. I did. I've been doing really well on my self-care, you guys. I'm going to brag a little bit. I've been trying to walk five miles at least three times a week. And I've been doing really good on that. I've been doing it more than that, so that's good. 
and the other days I walk two or three miles. So I've been doing pretty good on that. And today was a hot day before this cold front rain came in. It was so hot. It was so sweaty. So I took a shower and ready for bed. Put on my fun t-shirt, my Be Kind t-shirt. And thought, hey, I'm going to sneak outside and have a conversation with my friend Louise Hay. Give me some advice, Louise. Like, I have to do channeling videos. It's a Sunday night, and I don't have anything to share because I don't feel inspired. What do I do? Can you give me some advice? Oh, I think it speaks to who you are. I think it speaks to where you are at. I think you're very hard on yourself. I think there is a lot that you know about this very situation that you are not willing to face. And I think you should ask yourself, spend some time with yourself in those depths of questions and really ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why is this important to me? Not to the others out there who are watching because they will find another psychic or medium or channel if, if that is what they need. They will find that. And maybe it is not for you to serve in that way maybe there is a greater more broader context that you want to be in service in addition to your psychic gifts she's very right and i have been moving toward like my psychic plus life sessions are much more coaching interwoven with psychic connection and intuition where sometimes I do mentor with people who are working on their intuition and their psychic skills, but it's not a question answer. I'm telling them, this is what you do. A, B, C, D, E, do this. This is how you do it. No, that's not what I do. And I also don't just do a psychic reading like, what do you want to know? I'll tell you the answers. I'll tell you if your husband's having an affair. I will tell you if you're going to win the lottery. I will tell you which car to buy. I'll tell you what career you should do. You guys, the more I do psychic work, it's been, let's see, since 2004. It's been since 2004 that I've been doing psychic work. And it is so, it just leaves a horrible, horrible, horrible taste in my mouth to even think about telling other people what their future should be or it, it's, it feels so irresponsible for me to be like, I have the answers. Come to me. I'll tell you what to do. I'm not that psychic. That's not who I am. That's not what psychic means to me. Psychic means connection and inspiration and trust and faith in myself and my spirit like you trust you trust you have faith in your own spirit your own intuition everybody is psychic i believe it i know it and we just need help to remember that and it's not to get answers or to have our life dictated or laid out so that we don't have to have unknown it's not to figure out this mystery of our future we create our future we create our futures you guys I'm not going to predict your future because it could change. I hope to God, Goddess, it changes because you have the power to change your life. You do. You might not believe it and you might want to give somebody else your power like, hey, give me a reading. Tell me what's going to happen. Who am I going to marry? Who am I going to meet? Well, that sounds interesting and maybe entertaining. That's not my jam. I don't want to be an entertainer. That's not, I never wanted to do that. I never wanted to do that. A public channel is not created for an entertainment. Although that's exactly what many people find it for because they're connecting with an entertainer, famous people in the afterlife, celebrities, and you're probably saying, Bridget, how can it not be about entertainment when you're that's all you're talking about? Is entertainers, people that are famous, celebrities. It's because that's who you guys listen to. I could channel archangels and deities and goddesses and saints and totem animals all day and you will not care. But if I channel dead people that you recognize, you will listen and maybe, just maybe, that will unlock a part of you that brings your curiosity up to the boiling point where you then will connect and believe in your own intuition, your own empowerment, and live your dang life.
instead of living vicariously through other people, you will live your full-on life. And that's what I want. And that's how I feel. <laughs> Just in case there was any question about that. So am I going to change above life channel? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't even know how to answer that. Maybe I just need some time off, you know? Maybe I just need, like, a social media break or something, like a cleanse, a social media cleanse, and just focus on Fairy Grasshopper Channel because it's so fun, and I can share whatever I want, and it's just me and people that really like me and my work and what I can provide as a person, not an answer bank, not a computer. I'm not a computer. I'm not going to give people exactly what they need. I can't. I cannot do that. I can't meet people's expectations. Sometimes it's just too much. It's too much. And I take that on willingly myself. And that's my thing because I want to do a really good job. And when I can't feel, get into a session with somebody, I don't, I shouldn't be channeling them. I have no business channeling them because there are many other channelers and psychics that could probably do a way better job than if they like that person or they're interested in that person. And I'm also not interested in like researching people and then knowing about them. I don't want to know about them. That's not the point. The point is to be curious and have the experience together so you can have the experience of psychic connection. So you can have the experience of connecting and communicating with the afterlife through me and feel that. So you're like, hey, I have those kind of feelings too. Or hey, I can talk to Freddie Mercury. Hey, I'm such an Elvis fan. How do I connect? Well have some experiences let's do that you know and that's kind of what above life channel does it's like a safe place to be able to have those experiences where i can share and you can feel it too you know so that's how i feel about that oh louise i don't know if i should share this because people i don't want people to get the wrong idea like i'm stopping above life channel i'm not it's not that's not why i'm channeling that's not why i'm talking right now i'm literally talking out loud my feelings my thoughts and I'm letting you listen because I'm having a session with Louise Hay. So Louise, what other advice do you have for me? Follow your heart. She said, you need to follow your bliss. You need to really pay attention to what you love doing and do more of that. It does not matter, Bridget, what other people want from you. Those aren't your people. You know that. The people that want, demand, or expect from you are not the people that support you. They're not, they don't have a financial stake in your success at all. They're just passers-by. They're just observers. They're not contributing. They're not commenting. They're not subscribing. They're just watching. They're like kind of eavesdropping. Those are not the people you are here for. You are not here for everyone. It's okay, so, but Louise, I'm not like the niche thing. I'm not sure. I think that that's why Above Life Channel is so narrowly focused that people like you guys as viewers have no idea that I do all these other things that I coach. And when I coach, I do intuitive coaching. So I connect with your spirit. I encourage you to do that. We have conversation about that. We talk about different areas of your life. We work on something that you want to work on. We connect for a day and see what's going on in your life. I have consistent sessions with people every month or twice a month. That's where I spend my time. The public channel is just like, Kind of a fun thing that I do. It's not like the whole this is all I do. That's not. That's why I don't do medium sessions right now. Because I that's not I'm not gonna do a one and done. I am not a one night stand. Uh 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 I want a commitment. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I'm passionate about that. I'm very passionate about that. You have to follow your bliss. You have to follow that. You are the only person that can change things. You are the only person that is putting restrictions upon you. Just ignore people that complain or it's, if it feels like people complain, ignore them. They are not, they don't deserve the attention. And the people who really genuinely appreciate what you have to offer will follow your work and enjoy it so much. And those are the people that you should be engaging with. Those are the people that you should be building your entire business around because those are the people that are investing in themselves and those are the people that will need you in their process as they grow and expand and you'll get to celebrate all those milestones with them and that's what you want. You want that. Yes. Yes, I do. I do want that. <laughs> I do want that. Can you give advice to everybody else right now? 
like everybody that's watching this, they don't want to just watch me get a session for me. No, 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 not everybody's that interested in that. Some of you guys maybe like 20%. And everybody else is like, hey, tell us something for us. Okay, so can you tell us something about the time that is right now and what the deal is? It's, it's right it's um, right around Father's Day June in June 2020. We just had the solstice on the 20th. It's the 21st when I'm recording this. I don't know when I'm going to share it. What? What's, what's up? Is there some cosmic reconstruction going on that we all have to be like, oh, buckle your seatbelts, oh my gosh, this is like a 3D ride that I don't like, I'm getting car sick, motion sick, whatever. What's going on, ladies? She says, oh, Bridget, it does feel quite dramatic, doesn't it? It does really feel very dramatic. And, and that, again, is your choice. You should listen to uh, my friend Eckhart. Eckhart Tolle? Yes, yes, indeed. His New Earth and the strategies that are brought forward in part in that book and in sub subsequent other teachings would perhaps give you a peace of mind. And, and you may be ready for that at this time. And she's right. I personally have found Eckhart Tolle's voice just lately very calm and soothing. So it's Eckhart Tolle. And there's lots of stuff on YouTube with him. Yeah, I have found his voice very soothing. And before, like, 10 years ago, there's no way, you guys. I could have never listened to him. I would have been like, no offense, Eckhart, if you ever saw this video. I thought it was boring. I'm like, oh, this is so boring. So boring. Give me some action, people. This is boring. Now I'm like, oh, I'm welcoming it. I'm welcoming some calm because everything is dramatic. It's really traumatizing. We're in, a, like, a very traumatic time. And it's affecting everybody so different in so many levels. It is. That that is very true. And and it is a time to be extremely hyper vigilant with the way you are treating yourself, the way you are speaking to yourself and your thoughts. And you will need to amplify the kindness in your affirmations and the work that you do for you. That is ex so essential, not just for your the betterment of your society, but for your survival as an individual. It will be far too easy for you to compromise and to conform and join some group or, or niche moving ahead so that you can adapt their principles of structure organization so that you can be one of many and feel the belonging that you crave because it's better than feeling alone. But it's so, it, I, I must really stress the importance of maintaining your individualism and recognizing your own unique attributes because those are the things that will come to the surface and those are the things that your past and your past previous experiences the things that you've ta been taught about yourself will try to keep those down and even in some cases destroy them those those true assets that you have to share those true attributes and it is more important now than ever for you to believe the most in yourself and the individualism that you have but that does not mean to be separate from others it means bring about what you have to contribute and share and then bring it into groups where that energy that you have stands a light it lights up and it is not a competition for light it is a imbued energy it brings she's like showing me this light kind of integrates with other light and then it becomes a bigger light and it's all these different colors and it's nobody knows where the one source is because there's not one source it's amplified and everyone is connected as in unique individuals bringing the light up and amplifying it and in unity and unification it gets bigger and bigger as to how it feels you guys and that feels amazing <laughs> oh that feels so good so right now, are we in a time of what some would consider like dark night of the soul? Because I know personally for me, I am really going through it. I am like feeling, I'm questioning things, and I'm willing to go into the depths of my own value systems, my beliefs, what's important to me, what I'm just doing, because other people expect it, like above life channel in the exact same way, and trying to meet everybody's needs here, because that's what you should do as a business, and that kind of thing. But... That's above life channel really isn't my business. It's just a platform that I share in the business is my psychic plus life coaching work, whether it's in groups or in classes online or in one-on-one -on -one private coaching, which is where I've really been feeling good. 
I feel like tools like writing and journaling and um, I'm taking an online coaching class and it helps with trauma and understanding living a trauma informed life and understanding how trauma um, affects us and it's actually a class for psychotherapists counselors and coaches so it's a it's really mind heavy but it's also experiential and I've been doing a lot of work in equine therapy learning about that and I'm going to have it myself actually so in July I get to do that and have that experience but I've been really investing and in allowing myself to ask questions that I don't know the answers to and not needing an answer right away or needing a resolution but just being willing to ask the questions and just let the questions just kind of be because one question leads to another question, which leads to another thing, which leads to another thing, which eventually leads, it's like little cobblestones, little stepping stones along a path that leads me to a place where I need to be. And it's not that one question or the answer to that that I need, it's the process of the path, the on path unfolding that I know is where the value is. And I would encourage you to recognize things like that right now. And the unknown is just a process we're in. We're in a process of unknown. And newsflash, we've always been in a status of unknown and mystery. Some people see this curiosity and adventure and opportunity for exploration and discovery. And some people are like, oh, SHI, oh, what the F is going on in this world? I want everything back to the 1940s. You know, I mean, really, like, I shouldn't say 1940s, but you know how it used to be? Like, I remember adults around me when I was younger listening to them saying, oh, in the good old days, and I'm thinking about, like, the 1940s car my grandpa used to drive that kind of thing comes in my mind like oh the good old days you know women were in the house and didn't work out of the home and I'm like oh my god no and so <laughs> just the perspective of things and I just feel so I'm willing so is that considered like a dark night of the soul? Are we collectively going through that as a society? What's the deal? What is the deal, Louise? And what advice can you give us? It is an individual process and it will be unique for many. Some will, as you as you um, coined the phrase, the, the dark night of the soul. I didn't coin the phrase, it wasn't mine. I don't even like that term. But the fact that we have to have the shadow with the light so we can identify the contrast is something very real to me, you guys, in my work. I do that. And you know that, Luis. I'm all about the balance of things and learning and accepting all aspects of us, our shadow, our light, all of it. And I get what you're saying, though. I just literally felt it. She said that's exactly how it is happening in the world right now. The shadow and the light and the contrast of things. The anger is going to be high because it's easier to be angry than it is to be sad. You guys, if you've had me in session, you've heard me say it. When you're grieving and you're really sad or there's such a loss or you don't know what's going on and you just can't function, you can't focus, you cannot focus, it's easier to get angry and crabby than it is to actually let yourself feel sad. And I'm personally working on that myself because I'm not good at that either. I'd rather get ticked off and go off on a tangent and be angry than to really feel sad and have to deal with that stuff. Like it's Father's Day and I'm recording this video and there's a part of me that is sad. I miss my dad too, you know, and it's been 18 years and I, and I miss him, you know. And that's just a part of my experience, you know? So it is, and she's saying it's very individual, it's very individual, and that's that's what can be hard, she says, because it, you feel alone. But individual and alone, Louise Hay is saying, individual and alone is not the same thing. That is not, please do not confuse that or misunderstand. It doesn't mean you go through it alone. It doesn't mean that. It means you have safe places to have discussions about how you are really feeling without being judged and without you hearing yourself and judging yourself. Whether that's in your private journal or on the phone with a friend, trusted companions, you must be able to have a safe space for yourself to reflect and to share the process, the, 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 the steps that you are thinking and the feelings that are coming and the thoughts that are moving through and be able to do that in a safe way where you're not evaluated and judged on each part of the process but rather to have a whole picture view of all of it and be accepted every step of the way. And 
we really need that support now more than ever and I know it I know it like I have and I have a support structure you guys have heard me talk about it all the time especially if you watch me on Fairy Grasshopper channel I talk all the time about I got a coach I got a counselor I have a women's group I am so supported I have some really close friends that I can really be psychic with and talk to about my stuff going on I can be a psychic human without being the psychic with all the answers and tell me what to do Bridget you know not like that and so I feel really safe I'm lucky you know and not everybody has that and I know it so use your journal you guys in part use your journal to help do that for yourself and constantly and consistently Give yourself supportive feedback, not negative. And when it starts to judge, recognize that it's a past pattern and just set it aside. Mm -mm. I'd like another thought, please, Alex, for 100. You know, get a new thought in there. Ask for a new one to come in. You know, and this is a great time for you guys to connect with your spirit guides and your healing teams and your angels and get inspired by them and feel their love, support, encouragement. Do that you know and if you need a session I mean I'm here you know you can reach out and get on my list and we can do a psychic and life session okay if you need that we can totally do that Louis do you have any anything else that you can share with us can you give us any insights about the future can you predict the future for us she's like oh now Bridget are you I know you're trying to be funny I'm like I know you create your future I know I know all about it Law of Attraction is something you all should be studying right now. She says, the Law of Attraction. I'm not talking about the secret. That's that's a bit commercialized, a version of it. I'm not talking about that. Law of Attraction. Oh, like the Esther Hicks, the Abraham Hicks stuff, you guys. Good resource for you. So that's your, that's your uh, recommendation? Yes. She says, yes. Learn about that. And use your tapping. Do your tapping, she says, to help you move some of those thoughts that aren't serving you or helping you or and if you need information about tapping you guys can check out um my fairy grasshopper channel because i do a couple of introductions to tapping and i actually have a playlist on fairy grasshopper about tapping so if you're interested check it out. thank you miss louise hey thank you for watching here viewers of the above life channel i know this might be kind of boring for some of you that are just here for the good stuff the drama and the entertainment industry stuff but i just i can't deliver that that just isn't what we got today <laughs> so hey i'm doing the best i can you guys i'm happy to be here i am so thank you so much for being part of this journey here on above life channel i look forward to connecting and to continue to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope. Check out the playlist if you want some big jewelry content there. And remember the purpose is for you to live your life. To, for you. Get that inspiration so that you can live your life. It's your life after all, so live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Louise. It's great chatting with you. Yeah, thanks for being here.